What's going on guys? Brad with Your Way Lawn Care and I'm here at my storage unit about to put everything up for the day, actually for the week. I am done. Um, I've actually got my schedule set up to where I work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, landscape on Monday and then I leave Friday as a wiggle day uh, to where I can do some other things or I can make up for rain days. And that's something to think about guys, especially when you're a solo guy is what do you do when it rains? How do you handle that situation when it rains for multiple days, um, a week and you're behind? You need to be in thought about that. You need to have a plan in place to where you can um, make that day up. So anyway, I'm going to make this video. This is going to be my video for the week. I may throw some pictures in of some jobs um, throughout it, but I'm not I didn't do any filming really while I worked this week. It was just a busy week. We were packed. Um, I say we. I, I was packed with stuff I was doing. But I made a really expensive mistake today. Uh, and I'm sure some of y'all are going to say, oh my God, it was the trailer rack that failed you. It was not the trailer rack that failed me. I made a mistake because I got in a hurry. That expensive mistake is a new FS94R and a hundred dollars worth of parts to fix my uh, FS100 RX because it went bouncing down the highway. What I did is when I put it, I took the trimmer off when I went to put the trimmer back on, it was in a hurry. I didn't get this block all the way in. I had this trimmer out and I put it in like so. Thing shut. You see it's not quite all the way in and it come out and it bounced out coming down the road and it come out and it landed on the curb and gutter on the air filter and uh, I picked it up it had one little scuff on it I didn't think anything was wrong with the trimmer what happened is I got to my next job and I went to take my trimmer off took it off went to do my weed eating it wouldn't start it's weird you know, like I said, the trimmer had a scuff on it. That was it. I mean, it didn't do anything to it. Well, what it had done, it had hit just right on that air filter that evidently it pushed it in. It wouldn't run. So I went, took it all apart and got to looking at it, pulled the air filter cover off on the 100. And the air filter housing, the aluminum housing, was actually in two pieces in there. I got to looking deeper. The carburetor looked messed up. And then the actual intake itself between the carb and the engine, which is plastic, was in multiple pieces. So it hit hard enough that it just pushed enough force in there that it just busted that thing all to pieces. It, you know, it, it done a number on it. Um, expensive mistake. All right, so I just got home, and this is actually number two time of recording this, and I'll have to put the bloopers at the end of this video because I just done this whole thing with the microphone turned off. So there would have been no audio. So I'm going to show you real quick the um, 100RX, what happened to it. Um, so like I said, it fell off the trailer because I didn't put it all the way in there. So this is the only mark you can see right there at the top corner. And just scuffed it, right? Just the scuff. When I got to my property, it wouldn't run. Busted up the air filter. This is actually cracked internally. You can't really see it. The camera won't pick it up. The intake actually busted all the intake um, all the way through top everything. It's it basically split it. it actually split the bottom of the um, carburetor itself also. So my quick fix idea was to take my HL94 head trimmer. Um, I got the head trimmer head back there. So I put the weed eater head on it put the handle on it and um, fired it up, got it going. Come to find out it geared wrong. Uh, I don't know if the head geared wrong for this because it went on the 100RX or if it, this is internally geared wrong at the actual um, torque converter, which is located in, inside the housing, is geared wrong, but it wouldn't work. So that was my quick fix idea. It didn't quite work, but I went and picked up the uh, 94R FS94R to give me something to use for the next week um, because it's going to be a while before all the parts for that get here. They got to all be uh, special order because that's not typical stuff 
that have to be replaced. Um, I really mucked that thing up good. Got in a hurry. Got in a big hurry. And it cost me about $400. So today was a $400 mistake day. And when you have $400 mistake days, unfortunately they're gonna happen. You're in business. Stuff's gonna go wrong, stuff's gonna break. It really sits you behind, especially this early in the year. Really loud noise. You know, something like that this early in the season will set you back when it's something you really weren't planning on initially. My dual wheel wheelbarrow. Highly recommend these things. This thing is held together with baling wire, zip ties. It's in rough shape. Baling wire holding that on. Zip ties in the place of a bolt. But it does the job. This is my storage unit. This is my storage unit. All my tire collection back there. And John Deere and my wife's crap. And then my crap and golf clubs. Can't even play golf anymore. Um, I'm dead redefiner. These things are going to happen as business owners. Every day is not going to be a great day. Yeah, it all looks fine and dandy on YouTube normally, but um, unfortunately, it's not not always peaches and cream. But anyway, I'm gonna get unloaded. That's been my week. I've had a good week. It hasn't been a bad week. It's been a productive week. It's always a great week when you're working for yourself. Not always, because Lord knows behind the scenes sometimes. It gets rough and it gets really hard at times and this week has been one of those weeks for me um, so I'm gonna do another video soon talking about some stuff in my life and how that's affected me this year uh, in ways that I haven't been affected in years past and the things I found to try to get around that and keep myself going which has been really really hard actually um, to do so I'm going to get out of here, guys. I uh, hope y'all have a great weekend. The weather's supposed to be absolutely amazing here. It's supposed to be in the 80s. I think it was about 80 today. Um, and it's supposed to be bad storms on Sunday. But we're going to get two good days out of it. So I'm going to enjoy it. I hope y'all enjoy it. I am done for the week. Next week is a full week. Uh, I have several landscape projects to get done. And I'm going to be sure to get some more footage of those one of them i've got some good footage of already we've been working on um, we got to finish it next week one of the joys of being a solo guy is when you get big jobs sometimes they take a little bit of time to do and you got to let people know that in advance um but anyway guys have a great one make it a good weekend later